Welcome to early game split stuff build for Neo 2, you big stick flailing bastards. Before we start with the build, I have to explain what early game means in Neo, so there is no confusion. It means first playthrough more or less, not first couple of regions or levels. In this case it is for first 100 levels or so. Max character level is 750 and there are 4 more difficulties beyond starting one and end game content on top of that called Abyss and Depths. New difficulties unlock one after another by completing set number of missions. Early game builds that I'm doing are for first playthrough for the most part and they change a bit as you progress due to better equipment becoming available over time. You can play with same exact gear however for many playthroughs as long as equipment level corresponds your own. That is done by soul matching gear at the blacksmith or acquiring smithing techs that allow crafting gear at your level. Before levels 50 and 60 builds are not really possible, at least not very effective ones. Up until then it is best to go for balanced stat distribution with additional points into magic in this case, but also make sure to match requirements of the armor set you plan on using. Set I am using in the video becomes available in 5th region and it is heavy one, so start investing a bit into stamina and strength just a bit from the get go so you don't fall behind. At around level 100 stats should look something like this. 17 constitution and 15 stamina are a must because that total of 32 points unlocks guardian spirit bonus we need. If you get smithing text for Oni Shibata set, then strength at 15 is not needed. From level 100 onward continue leveling magic, heart, courage and constitution. Secondary weapon are hatchets that are part of Oni Shibata set. This set in particular is fantastic for this split stuff build because of damage reduction taken mid attack, damage taken reduction overall, and decreased attack from high stance. Last bonus would be awesome too, but we can't get it at this point. On hatchets try to get all a blaze duration special effect, which I didn't have at this point. Primary weapon can be any split stuff you like, as long as similar special effects are present. Special effects can be re-rolled with tempering option at the blacksmith. On armor pieces most important bonuses come from chest piece. Life recovery through Amrita absorption and elemental damage taken reduction. Try to get attack bonus on gloves too. Before acquiring Oni Shibata, start off with Shinto priest set in first region and use sacred water for key management before barrier spell becomes available. After Shinto there are a couple of options. Tatenashi is not bad at all, but it is pain in the arse to farm the whole thing. Golden Gourd is good choice as well, as we can have all 7 piece bonus with the split stuff. Red Demon is great too, but it is a random drop at this point. If you plan on using Red Demon, then definitely have Fire Talisman or Infernal Oni Beast Soul Core to apply Fire Element to split stuff, versus enemies that aren't resistant to fire. Master Swordsman is not bad too. Master Archer can be acquired in second region and is quite good, but same like Red Demon you need Lightning Talisman or Lightning Oni Beast Soul Core to get most out of it. On accessories most important thing is to have melee damage versus poisoned enemy. All three starting guardian spirits are decent choices. After them switch to Usura Hicho and then use Genbu. Reason why we need 17 points into constitution and 15 into stamina is to get elemental damage taken reduction bonus from Genbu. Soul cores we want are on Ryoki because damage taken mid attack reduction, Yatsu no Kami because of melee damage versus poisoned enemy and ideally last one should be only be soul core to have ability to apply element to our weapon without the need for talismans. 
Secondary Guardian Spirit should be in Osasao because of damage taken mid attack reduction. Primary active skill here is Dragon's Dance. Make sure to get the upgrade as well. In this video you will see I frequently forget to apply this increased attack buff from Dragon's Dance. Don't make the same mistake. Thing about Dragon's Dance is that it is far more effective when you get couple of levels due to key requirements and less damage reduction bonuses available from the start. So it is better to focus from the very beginning on active skills such as Unruly Revolution, Shapeshift Strike and Ordinary Strong Attack while continuously holding Strong Attack button. Besides these active skills, get as many blue upgrades as possible. From hatchets we only need all ablaze. From Omnio get steel, protection, extraction, weakness, barrier, incantation mastery and life leech. Upgrade all to maximum. Any of the two Mystic cards are fine upon unlocking them through Omnio related dojo missions. From Ninjutsu get Poison Shurhen, Shurhen Shooter and Ninja Tool Mastery, all upgraded to maximum. When Hidden Tea House becomes available I would recommend Takenaka or Honda Clan. Now how to play this thing? Before bosses we do this whole process. First elemental stop talisman, which one depends on the boss you are fighting. Then protection, steel, extraction, barrier, switch to hatchets and activate all ablaze, switch to split stuff and apply purification talisman versus yokai bosses or any other element that would be good against human bosses. Now we enter the fight cast, life leech and weakness on a boss and poison them if possible. Try to position yourself first before starting dragon's dance. This depends on the boss you are facing. We have to be close by for it to be most effective. Start the dance and don't forget to apply the buff when you run out of key while doing the dance. Versus some bosses, Dragon's Dance won't be that effective as they might move out of the way. In that case use other active skills like Unruly Revolution and Strong Attack while holding the Strong Attack button. Don't forget to reapply debuffs on bosses when they change realms and also reapply your own buffs. I don't bother with all ablaze anymore but focus on barrier, steel, extraction if needed and purification or any other elemental talisman. Remember that whenever you hold down any attack button with split stuff, be it with active skills or normal attacks, your attacks change by adding more hits or by adding reach. That is the special thing with split stuff. Anyway, that would be all, thank you for watching and enjoy.